Hey everyone, it's Megan. Today for this Top 5 Wednesday, I'm going to be going over the top 5 books that I would save in a fire. I'm a rather practical person, so if there is a fire, I'm not going to be stopping for books or anything except my boyfriend. But let's say for the sake of this that there was a fire on the other side of my building and we had 5 minutes and grab everything that you can. Coming in at number 5, we have a book that is actually on loan to a friend right now, but it is The Forest Family by Joan Bodger. As the title implies, this is about a family living in the forest at around, I want to say, the Industrial Revolution, and it's just like this compilation of fairy tales and folk legends that's just like all weaved into this, and it's such an amazing book. I would grab it because, number one, it's one of my favorites, number two, I have had it since I was a little kid, like 11 or 12 years old, maybe even 10. Coming in at number four, we have have another book that is from my childhood and it is The Balloon Tree by Phoebe Gilman. This book remains to this day one of my favorite books of all time. As you can see here you got the most beautiful illustrations. I love Phoebe Gilman's artwork. She wrote the story and did the artwork for this. And it's a story about this little princess who doesn't want her father to leave on a special quest but he does and her uncle takes over the kingdom and so in order to defeat him, she gets the help from this wizard to create a balloon tree to signal her father. Coming in at number three, I am such a nostalgic person. We have my giant treasury of stories and rhymes. This little fat book basically includes every fairy tale and nursery rhyme that you could think of, from a European aspect anyway. It's got multiple illustrators that I am familiar with and have grown up with because, like with The Balloon Tree, I've had this for such a long time since I was little, little. Coming in at number two, uh, I'm going to include the, these two books as one book, and it's a duology. It is The Assassin's Curse and The Pirate's Wish by Cassandra Rose Clark. I would grab these because, number one, they are amazing books, and number two, because the publisher recently closed and they are out of print. These books tell the story of Anana, a girl pirate who does not wish to be married off to another pirate prince, and so she runs away, and as a result, an assassin is sent out to kill her and is not able to do so for some reason, which we will find out as the books go on, and they've got to go on a series of quests because they suddenly find themselves bind together, and it's just one adventure after another. I really loved them. I read them last summer, and I want to reread them, actually. And finally, in the number one spot, I have a final book that is from my childhood. It is Orphan at My Door, The Home Child Diary of Victoria Cope. This book is by famous Canadian children's author Jean Little, and it is a part of the Dear Canada Diary series that I have, you'll see behind me. But yes, this is the first one I ever got. I got this in grade six, and I think it is the first book in the entire series as well. The diary takes place in 1897, and it's from the perspective of a 10, 12-year-old girl who just got a home child um, come to stay with them. Home children were uh, orphans at the time, and they would stay in these uh, group homes until they were adopted and usually came to work to help out in families and they would get room and board there at the same time. So the home child that they have taken in um, has a past and it winds its way into the family and it's just such a good story. Off the record, I would actually highly recommend you check this one out. So that is it. Those are the books that I would save in a fire. Let me know down below what books you would save in a fire. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I shall see you soon with another video. Bye everyone!